boom. What's up, money geeks? I'm Zv here. Welcome to another video, guys. So again, today's video we are going to talk about one of our favorite stocks here on the channel, Lucid Model Ticket Symbol LCID. So um, again, we've been covering the stock lately a lot because there's been some movement, there's been some news, some momentum, um, and so I want to keep you guys informed and make some decisions. Right now, the stock is on an uptrend, and I want us to kind of talk about what to do next uh, as this stock continues to move up. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Lucid, guys, again, this is one of my my favorite uh, EV stocks. Um, not just because uh, you know the cars look good, but because of the way they're positioning themselves in the market as a luxury brand uh, of EV cars. So they're not really competing with Tesla. They're saying like, hey, average people can have Teslas but we are coming in more as a luxury brand, which I think there's a huge market for that in the EV space, in my personal um, opinion. So we've talked about what the uh, stock is doing, where they pulled down. I told you guys that the stock was gonna pull down. Uh, when it started to move up, I told you guys it was a catalyst that was gonna push this thing uh, uh, to the upside, and we've seen it come to fruition. So now the question is, what do you do from here moving forward? So before we actually get to that point, I wanna show you you guys some stuff that's going on here so um, again this is news from um, routers so electric car make a lucid on track for 2022 and 2023 output target CEO says uh, to me this is huge because if they can meet this target I think the target for 2021 um, uh, was about two uh, 500 and something vehicles let's take a look here I know it's mentioned here so Lucy to start delivery so they're looking at 577 vehicles um, that would be delivered you know this year so that's huge and, and they're starting production right now or, or or they're going through production right now in the month of uh september and october and they anticipate to deliver these many vehicles uh but again the target for 2022 and 2023 is on track and their goal is to actually expand that and then introduce their sedan which is the lucid dream which is i mean it's another beautiful vehicle if you haven't already seen that that particular one so I like where Lucid is going. I like what they're doing. I like what they stand for. So let's take a look at the stock here and just see what has happened. So if you guys remember from the time that we can go back here maybe um, and just to take some levels here. You guys remember when uh, I was screaming buy, buy, buy when this stock pull. It, it started right here when they had this massive dip because uh, their pipe investors were allowed to sell their shares. So this thing took a dip and I did a video before this dip even came. I said like, hey guys, watch out, this thing is gonna collapse. And that happened. So we found, we saw this dip and I said, hey, buy here, because um, there's another catalyst coming back. Uh, most people didn't take it. And then so I, I think a lot of people got in at about 19, uh, which is still a good entry point. So around 19, and I said, there's a catalyst coming that's gonna push the price of the stock back up. And here we go. Uh, if you got it at 19, and this was September 15, somewhere around there, September 14, September 15, see this thing has squeezed to a high. Uh, as of when we were recording this video, tested a high of about $28.30, which is insane. So if you got it at 19, that's huge profit that you would have pocketed um, from this particular trade. So now the question is, um, where do you go from here? Uh, if you were swing trading this, uh, again, to me, I was thinking if this thing break this 28 and health, that would have been a good spot. Then you can take half of your position, um, secure some profit, and then see what happens with the remaining half. Uh, but if it, if it tests 28 again and fail, and then that's, that's a potential issue. So that could be a resistance at 28. At that point, we can start looking at, hey, maybe taking out your profit. But again, um, I wanna see this thing between 28 and 30. So this might, so let's go back here on the one minute chart so we can actually see. So if you can see here, it tested that 28, almost 28, uh, 40. And then look, at it's pulling back, right? Sitting right now at 27, 20. Five, so I'm still pulling back. If, if it bounces off of VWAP, I think this would be a good uh, uh, sign that this thing might pop back to that 28 and even 29. But if not, guys, again, don't be greedy savages. 
if you are in the money secure some of that profit because um this thing is going to pull back down again because right now the hype is that they open up their uh, facility to the media like i told you guys this was going to happen that the stock was going to uh was going to jump it did and now so start securing some profit because after this hype it's going to pull back down but then we anticipate another catalyst is going to become as soon as they start actual delivery as soon as they say hey we've delivered one two or three vehicles to a customer then you're going to see the price again it's going to pop uh, when that happens so again i just want to make sure that you guys are aware of what's going on why the stock is moving how to secure some profit uh again if you're long term you, let me just make sure i mention this if you are long term in the stock you really have to do nothing you just i mean just sit there and watch when it goes down to those levels at 19 you buy if you're long term uh but if you're a swing trading right now would be time for you to secure some profit don't be a greedy savage don't think that this thing is keep going up um at this point if you bought a 19 at 27 you are almost like what eight dollars in the money secure some of that profit don't be a greedy savage the market is kind of choppy so when you see opportunities like this make sure that you put that money in your pocket and don't let it um get away from you so that's what i wanted to cover here in this video again let me know in the comment section did you trade did you string trade the stock when we did the video here on the channel if you did uh, again let me know in the comment section if you're new here we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing take advantage of webo's promotion i'll put the links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated Oh, 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 oh,